Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from IIT Varsity. As part of CCS Spark and Hadoop Developer, at this time we are talking about the second module, Transform Stage Store, predominantly using Spark. And uh, you you are supposed to know both Scala and Python as, as per the uh, syllabus published. Uh, we have already covered the first po four topics of this module, uh, learning objectives of this module, and now we are talking about writing a query that produces ranked and sorted um, data using uh, Spark. Um, especially Python in this case. So when it comes to sorting and ranking, there are uh, two things which you need to be aware of. One is global sorting ranking and the other one is uh, um, uh, by key uh, ranking and sorting. So we will see both the things as part of few videos. Now we will talk about global ranking and sorting. Global, global ranking and sorting is to sort the data um, globally across uh, the entire data set. Uh, the perfect example is if you have the products table and if you want to find the highest uh, priced product or if you want to find uh, uh, the products uh, uh, sorted by pricing either in descending or ascending order then it's global sorting. And in some cases it is enough to compute um, um, by key which we'll see later so uh, first we'll see the sorting uh, if you go to the syllabus there is a function called sort by key it is characterized as part of the transformations so you can actually pipe the data that is mapped or reduced to sort by key function and you can sort the data either in ascending or descending order so let's see the example in this case, let us understand the data set we, which we will be using. Even though the example says orders, I will try to demonstrate using products. And uh, then uh, the uh, scripts I will change to products it's, uh, itself. So to understand the data structure, we have to go to either MySQL database or uh, to Hive where we have the uh, these tables. In this case, I am already in MySQL, so I will be using MySQL to demo, uh, to explain. So the products table have six columns, product ID, product category ID, product name, description, product price, and product image. And we want to see the details of, uh, uh, um, of products sorted by product price. So first we need to read the data, which is in uh, 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 HDFS, and then we have to um, do necessary transformation uh, to divide the data into key and values and then we can apply uh, sort by key to sort the data based upon product price. So, so I am launching uh, uh, PySpark using 1.2.1 version um, as this is not the default Spark on the VM I have to explicitly give the path of 1.2.1 PySpark and I am using uh, uh, I am launching PySpark in local mode which is native Spark mode to run the scripts or jobs because it is faster compared to yarn which is default. Now we were in the uh, spark uh, PySpark uh, which is the python uh, based spark command line interface. First you need to read the data for products using sc.txt file user so this is the path where I have the products data which I have imported using scoop uh, while demonstrating earlier and hit enter. Now you have the uh, RDD products mapping to this data set. Now I can actually do for i in products dot map. I have to map and uh, now lambda I have to I am developing a uh, anonymous function or lambda function in python rec stands for record and then um, I want to return the key and value pair the key being rec of uh, rec dot split by comma and then I want to get the fourth item which is product price and I have to uh, typecast it to float because it's a float type otherwise it will sort as a string which can uh, which will give the incorrect results and then the value is rec itself. So once uh, I did the necessary transformation of dividing each and every record into key and value tuple key being the uh, uh, price of the 
product and the value be in the record itself now i can use sort by key function uh, to get the data sorted by key which is product by in this case and then i am doing collect to iterate through all the values uh, all the records and then i am printing it and hit enter now you can see that uh, the data is uh, sorted based upon the price and uh, the highest being 1999 dollars which is solely 35 elliptical and if you want to do it in a descending order you just have to say false so sort by key can take uh, optional parameter by default it's true if you want to do it in descending order you have to say it false and hit enter now you can see that you got the least priced item at the last because the highest price will come at first so in the freezing collect let's uh, use take of five and we will see top five products and hit enter you can see that highest price product is 19.99 and then there are three products with 17.99 and then another one with 10.99 and if you want to do secondary sorting uh, so let's say you want to first sort by price and then uh, sort by um, either name or uh, some other thing you have to change your math function in this case to create a tuple as key so i am now creating a tuple and then let's uh, uh, sort it by uh, product id product id is integer so i want to use integer function and it's the first item so rec dot split comma zero okay and then uh, we have created the tuple and then you can hit enter now you can see that uh, first it is sorted by um, the price and then it is sorted by the uh, product price so the ascending and descending order is applied on uh, the entire key in this case it is sorted by uh, by price in descending and then uh, sorted by um, product product id in descending because it applied globally but if you want to sort by um, uh, this one in um, uh, the uh, sort by descending by price and then sort by ascending by second in the column uh, you might have to customize the um, customize some uh, uh, advanced um, you, you might have to consider the advanced spark wherein you have to customize uh, something called comparators and all which i will not be covering uh, as part of the certificate syllabus i don't think uh, they will get into those many uh, that level of detail uh, for this uh, cca certification uh, but uh, you can perform secondary sorting by just moving the whatever you want to uh, use use for sorting to uh, to the key in the key value tuple and if you want to discard the key and just display the value you can say a sort by key false and then you can say here you can again run the map function on this map lambda rec and i just want to return the value which is rec of one in each of the tuple and hit enter now you can see that you are only seeing the uh, the actual records on the product which uh, which are already sorted by the product price the first one being the highest one because we are using sort by key false so this is how you can actually uh, do the sorting and also you can uh, achieve uh, ranking also by applying take but there are better alternatives to uh, to actually uh, apply rank on the data set so there is also a, um, uh, there are also functions such as the top and uh, take ordered so take ordered and also i think top is not included in this top will give uh, uh, so top is like take only difference is top will automatically sort the data 
and uh, give top five records from the data. So instead of applying sort by key and then take off five, we can actually change it to top of five. Top it uh, it only sorts data in uh, descending order and then try to find uh, 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 try to sort uh, uh, it will it will sort the data in descending order and it will return top five records after sorting in descending order. So it is meant for uh, get the ranking of your uh, data set. That's why it will actually. Uh, uh, sort the data uh, sort the data by key in the descending order in this case by using this, this simple command we have actually uh, sorted the data in descending order and then we got the top five records so top is actually similar to take but it uh, internally sorts the data and give uh, top n number of records uh, n being the parameter of the top function and then uh, sort by key and top are to uh, give the results um, based upon uh, uh, in, in, in some special cases but if you want to customize your sorting and if you need more flexibility you can use take ordered instead of top here take ordered it takes two parameters um, first one is how many records you want to display five in this case let's say and the second one you can actually provide a lambda function to it um, so rec so in this case I want to sort it by um, uh, sort it uh, by the price in descending order and then product ID in ascending order so we can use take order and we can achieve it easily so here uh, I want to sort it by rec of 0 0 in descending order so I can say minus because it's numeric it it, it will not work with uh, string string data types but with numeric data types you can actually give minus to sort in descending order and then I want to sort in ascending order by the product ID so now you have given um, the uh, we are generating we, we are trying to sort it by tuple and hit enter and now you can see that it actually sorted by price in descending order first and then for 1799 you can see the product ID in ascending order so take ordered will give that additional flexibility um, uh, to sort the data the way you want but again, if you want to sort it by string, uh, at, uh, it might not work uh, to, it will work in sorting in ascending order, but you cannot specify minus directly uh, like we have done uh, here to sort it in descending order. If, if the data type of these uh, data in these tuples are non-numeric. In that case, you have to use edit, uh, more advanced uh, features wherein you can actually specify custom comparators etc so that being said this is it about global sorting and ranking we have seen um, uh, sort by key top and take ordered these three are the functions sort by key then transformation so you have to pipe through uh, through a iterable uh, function which is uh, like collect or take and then you have to print the results whereas take and uh, take ordered and top are uh, actions wherein you, you can actually um, uh, get either ranking or sorting um, by using those functions. So we have covered sort by key, top and take ordered. Make sure you understand these things. Um, they might ask direct questions on this uh, and it's very important. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, we will also see by key uh, sorting and ranking functions as part of uh, few future videos um, if you have any technical questions uh, please uh, uh, go to stack overflow and tag it with appropriate uh, tag the questions with appropriate keywords 
and i will be closely monitoring and i will be providing the answers for you and if you uh, if you want to discuss on certifications of spark i have linkedin groups it varsity hadoop certifications and it varsity apache spark please uh, please uh, do join the groups and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye